Salesforce App Builder is a point and click tool which helps in creating custom pages for Salesforce mobile app and for the lightning experience. Also, there is Salesforce Platform App Builder certification which is one of the primary Salesforce certification. So in this session, I will talk about both Salesforce Platform App Builder certification as well as Salesforce Lightning App Builder. But before we get started, I would like to address the agenda for today's session. Firstly, we will understand what exactly is Salesforce CRM and what are the various services provided by Salesforce. Then we'll talk about Salesforce Platform App Builder certification. In this, we'll understand what are the prerequisites for the certification. Next, we'll take a look at the certification guide in which I will talk about the future scope for the certification and the overall certification exam guide. Moving on, I will give you some tips which will help you prepare for the certification. So the first three topics will be about the certification. Next, we'll talk about Salesforce Lightning App Builder. And after that, for the demo part, I will show you how you can create custom app pages using Lightning App Builder. Now moving on to a first topic, what is Salesforce? Well, Salesforce is a cloud-based software company which provides customer relationship management service. Now customer relationship management or CRM means a strategy or a technique which businesses or organization uses to administer its interaction with all its customers. Now the question here is, why do we need CRM? So let me explain this with an example. So imagine a company selling some products. Now the sales team of that company will generate a lot of data, which would include which customer is interested in which product, which product has to be delivered, where it has to be delivered and many more. And the customers could be reaching out to the sales team to different platforms like emails, calls, social medias and many more. Now without CRM, all this data will be stored in handwritten notes or either laptop or in the head of the salesperson. Without a common platform for customer interaction, communication can be missed or lost in a flood of information, which will lead to unsatisfactory response of the customers, which a business would not prefer. But with CRM, you get a clear overview of your customers. You can see everything in one place. It is a simple, customizable dashboard that can tell about customers' previous history with the companies, the status of their orders, any outstanding customer service issues, and many more. Therefore, companies use CRM to gather, manage, and use this information for a better customer experience and to increase their profitability. So I guess you have some idea about how CRM can be helpful. Now let us move on to the next topic and see what are the different services provided by Salesforce. So initially Salesforce started as a software as a service CRM company, but now it provides various software solution and a platform for users and developers to develop and distribute custom softwares. Salesforce offers a variety of products for companies such as Salesforce Sales Cloud, which are designed to help the sales team sell smarter and faster by centralizing customer information, logging the interaction with the companies and automating many of the tasks that the salesperson does every day. The next service is the marketing cloud, which is one of the world's most powerful digital marketing platform. Here you can manage customer journals, emails, mobile numbers, social media, web personalization, and also content creation, content management, and perform data analytics. The next service is the service cloud. It provides a service platform for your organization's customer service and support team. It provides features like case tracking and social network plugins for conversational analytics and many more. Next is the community cloud, which helps companies to connect their customers, partners and employees with each other and share the data and records they need to get the work done. Next is the analytic cloud, which provides a business intelligent platforms for your organization to work with large data files, create graphs, charts and other pictorial representation of the data. After this, we have App Cloud and a few more services. Now App Cloud can be used to develop custom application to run on the Salesforce platform. Salesforce App Cloud provides with a collection of development tools that you can utilize to create custom application. Some of the tools in App Cloud includes Force.com, App Exchange, Heroku and the Salesforce Lightning platform. Now under the Salesforce Lightning platform comes Lightning App Builder which is a point and click tool which helps in creating custom pages in the Salesforce mobile app and a lightning experience. So these were some of the services provided by Salesforce. Now I guess you have some idea about what is Salesforce and what are the services provided by it. Now let us move on to the next topic and learn about Salesforce platform app builder certification. The Salesforce platform app builder credential is designed for individuals who would like to demonstrate the skills and knowledge in designing, building and deploying custom application using the declarative customization capabilities of the Lightning platform. For this certification, you're not expected to have programmatic development experience. We should just be able to develop custom application on the Lightning platform. So in today's demo, 
I'm going to explain how can you create custom app page on the Salesforce platform. So do watch this video till the very end. Now coming back to the certification, Salesforce platform app builder generally requires you to have six months of experience in the following areas. First of all, you should be familiar with the capabilities of the Lightning platform and be aware of Salesforce license type and the relation consideration. Then you should be able to design application to support business processes and reporting requirements. You should also be familiar with the capabilities and customization used to enhance the mobile user experience. Next, you should be familiar with the Salesforce development environment and the options available to deploy application and manage changes on the Lightning platform. Now, if you're wondering how can the certification benefit me? Well, first of all, having a certification will provide you a validation of a Salesforce skill. Also, it can be very helpful for your job interviews as organization needs certified people. This is because clients generally prefer to work with companies whose employees are certified as it gives them assurance with regard to quality. So after the app builder certification, you can either apply for developer or administrator role, which is very much in demand and pays a very good salary. Just to give you an idea about the job openings and the salary, according to Glassdoor, there are more than 1,300 job openings for a Salesforce professional in India and more than 31,000 job openings for a Salesforce professional in the United States. And the average salary for a Salesforce professional in India ranges from 4,50,000 to 5,50,000. And in the United States, the average salary for a Salesforce professional ranges from $91,000 to $100,000 per year. Now, if this number sounds good and you're interested in writing the certification, here is the certification exam guide. Each Salesforce certification exam contains 60 multiple choice questions. Five of those questions are not scored. That means your total score will be calculated based on your answers to just 55 questions and the passing percentage is 63%. Next, the time allocated to complete the exam is 105 minutes or 1 hour 45 minutes and the registration fees is $200 plus any applicable tabs as per the local law. And you can either choose for a proctored exam at the testing center nearby or in an online proctored environment. Next, let us see from which topics are most of the questions asked from. 23% of the questions are asked from Salesforce Fundamental. Next, the 22% of the questions are asked from Data Modeling and Management. Following that, the majority 28% of the questions are asked from Business Logic and Process Automation. Then 17% of the questions are asked from User Interface and 10% of the questions are asked from App Deployment. So these are the key topics you need to focus on in order to pass the certification. Now, after you write a Salesforce certification exam and you get certified, to maintain your Salesforce credential, all certified professionals must successfully complete something known as release management modules once per year. Now, this was about the certification exam guide. Now, let us see some of the tips that will help you pass the certification exam. So, my first tip would be to start with the basics. Firstly, I want you to understand the exam guide thoroughly so you know what are the topics that are asked in the certification examination. You can find the certification exam guide in the official website. After that, focus on important topics from which majority of the questions are asked. Some of the important topics you need to focus on is access level in Salesforce or security in Salesforce. Then is App Exchange, which is a cloud marketplace with ready to install application solutions and consultants. After that, learn how to create reports and dashboard in Salesforce. Next, learn about Lightning App Builder, which we'll be discussing in some times. And then also learn about chatter use cases and configurations. You can learn all this by referring some blogs or watching any tutorial videos on YouTube. After this, the next step is hands-on practice on these topics. After you learn all these topics, it's time for you to practice them. For practicing, you can sign up for Salesforce free trial account where you can practice reports and dashboards, Lightning App Builder, security access levels for free. All you have to do is enter a few details like your name, your email ID, the company you work for, your mobile number, then agree on the condition and then start your free trial. It is very simple to create an account in Salesforce. After the hands-on practice, the next step is to take up some mock tests. You can attend the Salesforce App Builder certification practice exams before the actual certification exam. All these mock exams will be very similar to the actual Salesforce App Builder certification exam. There are various Salesforce App Builder mock exams online that you can attempt and practice all the concepts that you've learned in the previous steps. It will definitely help you improve your confidence before appearing for the certification exam. Next, if you want to follow a structured approach and want some expert guidance for preparing for the certification, then I would highly recommend you Edureka certification training, which is curated by top industry professional and will help you learn how to customize your application, including page layouts, fields, tabs, and business processes. It will also help you create a secure Salesforce environment, maintain it, and import clean data 
create high value reports and dashboards and set up a workflow automation. Now all these topics can be very helpful for passing the app builder certification exam. So this was about the Salesforce platform app builder certification. Now let us move on to our next topic and understand what exactly is lightning app builder and how can it be helpful. Now lightning app builder as I mentioned before is a point and click tool that helps in creating custom pages for the Salesforce mobile app and a lightning experience. It gives the users what they need all in one place. With lightning app builder you can build a single page app or a dashboard style app which means an application which will display reports and dashboards. Or you can also customize record pages for your object. You can tailor it according to the need of the users which will make it very easier for the user to access the important records first. You can also customize the home page so that all the components and features that you use the most will be easily accessible to you and you do not have to search for them. Now one point you need to remember is you do not have to code for creating an app page in app builder. As I mentioned before it is a point and click tool which means you just have to pick the components and drop them in your application. Now if you're wondering what are components? Well components is a compact, configurable and reusable element that you can add to a lightning page in the lightning app builder. I will show you in the demo part what components are. But just to give you an idea components can be a text box or a report chart and so on. So there are three types of components here. First one is a standard component. Standard components are lightning components built by Salesforce itself. These are like a few default components. Few examples of standard components are text box, report chart, recent items. Next we have the custom components. Custom components are lightning components that the user or someone else have created. You can configure the custom lightning components according to your preferences to work in the lightning app builder. Next is the third party components on app exchange. The app exchange provides a marketplace for lightning components. You can find packages containing components already configured and ready to use in the lightning app builder. So I guess you have some fair idea about lightning components. Now let us see what can we exactly do with this lightning components. So you can create different types of lightning pages with the lightning app builder. One of them would be you can create an app page. Now an app page is used to build one page app for lightning experience and mobile devices. These are often for internal or third party application that wants a landing page. Next you can create home pages with features relevant to specific types of users and assign the customized pages to different apps or app and user profile combination. But custom home pages are only supported in the lightning experience not in the Salesforce classic user interface. Next with the record page you can create a customized version of an object's record page tailoring it to your users needs. Custom record pages are only supported in the lightning experience and not in the Salesforce mobile app. So this was about the theory part for Salesforce Lightning App Builder. Now let us move on to a demo part and see how can we create an app page in Salesforce Lightning. So for our demo let us first sign in into our Salesforce account. So I'll just search for Salesforce login over here. Just click on login Salesforce. Now I've already created my Salesforce account. All I have to do is enter the password and click on login. But if you're new to Salesforce just click on try for free over here. So after that you have to enter your details such as your first name and the last name, the job title, your email ID, your phone number, the company you're working for, the number of employees in your company, the country and the language. Then you can just agree to the condition and click on start my free trial. After this a mail is sent to your email ID which contains a Salesforce link and your username. You can save the link to easily log in later and then when you click on the link it will ask you to set a password. Then after you enter the username and password you're signed in into your Salesforce console. But I already have a password so let me just log in. So I'll just click back. So this is what the Salesforce Lightning user interface would look like. To go to App Builder first click on Setup. Select Setup. Scroll down until you see user interface. Here it is. Here you have an option called Lightning App Builder. So we'll just select it. Lightning App Builder, as I've mentioned in the theory part, provides an easy to use graphical interface for creating custom lightning pages for Salesforce Lightning experience and even for mobile applications. So we're going to create a new app, so we'll just click on new over here. With Lightning App Builder, you can create a new lightning app page or customize your home page or the record page. We can also customize the content displayed in the Outlook integration. So for our demo we are going to create an app page. So we'll select app page and click on next. So first we have to name our application. 
we'll just name it app demo and click on next. So here you can choose from various format for your app. So this is how your application will be displayed in different devices. In a desktop, it would be displayed something like this. In tabs, this way. And in mobile devices, your application will be viewed in this way. So you can choose from various options here. Header and right sidebar, header and three region, header and two region, main region and sidebar, one region, three region, two region. So let me go with header and two region. So I'll just click on finish over here. Now you can drag and drop the components you want for your application. Now I want to see reports and dashboard on my application. So when I open my app, I can see the monthly report and the dashboards. So I'll just drag the report chart and place it over here. And then drag the dashboard component and place it over here. Now you see all these are Salesforce Lightning components. As I explained before, they are reusable piece of code. We can use them in multiple places. Now if you want, I can add any text over here as well. So for that, I'll have to go to rich text, drag and drop it over here. Then enter whatever I want over here. Let's say welcome to Salesforce. Now if I want to, I can move this anywhere or even delete it. So all I have to do is click on delete over here and it is deleted. Now for my application, I've selected only reports and dashboard. You can select from any of these components or even add your custom components. As there are no custom components available now, I cannot select anything. Now if you want, you can change your app name over here and even add a developer name. But I'll just let it be app demo itself. Now when I click on report, now if I want, I can label my report or select any report from the available options. I can even filter them according to my convenience. Now after I've edited my app, I'll just click on save button over here. Now I get a message saying that it has been successfully saved. Now here again, I can change my application name, but I'll let it be app demo itself. Now I can also select for whom this app page will be visible for all user or only for system administrators. I'll go with default, which is activate for all users. Next, if I want, I can select any icon for my app page. Click on change and you'll get many icons from here. You can select any one from here. Let me just go with this one and then click on lightning experience. Now this decides where your app page will be visible. Now as my home page is in the sales cloud, so I'll just select sales from here. Now if I want, I can place this tab anywhere after home, after account or in the last. So I'll just place it after home. Now you can also do the same for mobile navigation. In your mobile Salesforce app, where you want the app page to be visible. But now we can only see in the lightning experience. So we click on save here and our app page is activated successfully. So now let us view our app page. So we'll go back to a sales cloud. So we'll refresh it. Now here you can see is our app page. Now as we have not created any reports or dashboard, this board would be empty. But you see how simple it is to create a one page custom lightning page. And with this we have come to the end of this video. I hope this video was helpful. Do comment your thoughts in the comment section below. Happy learning.